Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to another episode of MacBreak Studio. I'm your host, Mark Spencer. With me is Steve Martin from Apple Training, who is going to talk about... Speed, uh, retiming. Retiming. Retiming, yes. Retiming audio? Retiming video. Yeah, because we did retiming audio. We oh, did retiming that. audio. Re retiming video. The same kind of thing as retiming audio? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, no, um, it's <laughs> not quite. <laughs> not quite. Uh, we're going to basically change the speed of something. We're going to change, like we did the last ep a few episodes back about changing the audio. Yeah. We're essentially applying a retiming effect, but for different results. In this case, we're going to take something that was shot at a higher frame rate and conform it to a project of a lower frame rate and to get that kind of really nice smooth. Conform it. Conform so it. So we're going to do some conforming. Right. Do um, you remember way back in way back in Final Cut Studio, the big thing was to shoot in 60 and then use, uh, uh, was it Cinema, Cinema tools. tools to Cinema tools. change the frame rate? Yes. Uh, you would shoot yeah, it to 24. So you yeah. shoot a 720p 60. And, and then, then change the frame rate to, to 24, 24 and you get nice that really buttery, smooth, buttery smooth. Yes. Well, you could do that inside Funnel Cut Pro 10. So instead of just stretching the clip out, you can conform it exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, this it's I want to really, see. It's really, it's really, really what great. Do you do? What so do you do? What, what what you have here is well, let's let's look at the project. I have a, a project named Elliot, um, appropriately, because we're going to use a clip of your son uh, that you shot on your 7D. So I have this this timeline and. I want to go into the inspector really quick and just look at the properties because the, the, okay. the property is going to show us that the uh, it's a 1280 by 720 time but notice the frame rate is 2997p it's essentially a okay. 30 frame per second right. project but the clip that's in that timeline is different no the right? clip inside it right now is a 30p timeline and the reason remember the way final cut works oh the clip that's in there now okay right it, that clip when you first put it in it says do you want to conform so that project matches that yes. particular saying. Now, what's different is if I select this clip here, if I actually select this clip of your son, who's about ready to, you know, he's jumping, you know, off this wall onto the grass, uh -huh. and you shot it at 60p, but if you look, um, well, actually, if you go to the info, you can get info about the clip. Uh, you can you can see that this clip same frame rate, but look at the frame rate. Same it's, resolution, but same, different frame rate. Well, it's double the double the frame yes. rate. Okay. Yes. Okay. So normally you would just take a clip like this. Let, let's go ahead and set an in and out point. So it's he's going to jump off here. Let's mark in point, and let's just actually just drag that right in there like that. Okay. So now I just took that thirty that sixty frame per second clip and dropped it into a thirty frame per second project. Okay. Okay. So uh, what's gonna right happen? well right now it's going to attempt to play it back. At 30 frames per second. To remember, each clip you drop after the first one is will okay. always doesn't matter what the frame yeah. rate is. Will well will play back at the native project frame rate. It won't conform to it. It will play it back at that frame so rate. So does it mean it'll play it back half? That's it'll right. Half, half speed. Half speed. Okay, so it'll be kind of be a slow motion thing. Well, well, no, no. It's this is here. Let's let's play it right now. Okay. It's not. It's gonna. It's gonna play it back at 30 frames per second. Even though. Cool. All even right. though you shot. Let me bring down the audio. Even the audio is playing it back at 30 frames per second, even though the clip is 60, which we just saw. So is it skipping frames? It's skipping to do that? frames, right? Okay. It's dropping frames. It's okay. doing what it can. So it's not playing every frame, 30 frames, because that would just make it take twice as long to play. Yes. It's actually skipping frames to do that. Okay. Right. Okay. But here's where it gets interesting. Uh, let's say I know that this is a 60 frame per second clip in a 30 frame per second project, but I want to get that. I want to use every frame, so I okay. so I want it you to want play to back play every, every frame. frame. Okay. In order to do that, I will use this feature in Retime called Conform. So I'm going to select the clip, go over to Retime, and choose Conform Speed. Conform Speed. Okay. As soon as I do that, watch what happens to this. Watch what happens to the clip. clip. It immediately slows down. It obviously applies 50%, right? Because it went from 60 down to 30. It conformed it to the 30 frame per second project. Oh, okay. So that when you play this back, watch when I play this back, watch how you get this. Because it's, it's every single frame of the 60 frames per second now being slowed down in a 30 frame per second project. Right. So the takeaway here okay. is if you shot something at a higher frame rate than the project you're putting it into, you can conform it, and Funnel Cut Pro does all the math for you. Okay. So that, that feature that we used to do where we changed the, the actual... Uh, whatever, frame rate itself. and cinema and, tools. And exported a new file. You don't, don't need to do that now do because Final Cut will do that in-house, so to speak. Directly in there, okay. 
just by hit doing the conform just, thing just, and you can just play it. Right. And, and then you, the trick is you need to go to the retiming menu you gotta go and to choose the, conform. Right, but okay. look, but see, you can see it's, it's playing every frame now in the 30 frame, but you're getting that really nice Slow motion. Slow mo, silky, sl okay. s silky, slow, slow mo. And then, if so, if we drop this same clip into a project that was 24 frames per second, or you it know, would 23 conform, nine, it would, nine, it we would, could conform it, it to there and play even slower, right? Exactly. Would From you, 60 frames down to 24. It would conform it to 24. It would okay. do all the math for you. Which should probably be 40 percent. It would of be the speed instead of 50 percent. Right. It would be for something like that. I'd have to. I'd have to assume that it have a uh, 24 uh, project. Let's uh, let's see what happens. Now I'm really out on a limb. <laughs> yeah, uh, really. So let's open. Didn't, didn't plan for this. No, but let's but find. Yeah, let's find out. So here's a project um, that is 2398. Oh, 2398. So, okay. So let's open this up, and I know I'm glad you asked that because I'm sure other people out there are wondering. So let's drop that. So I've just dropped your 60p yeah. into the 24p, right? Yeah. So I'm going to go over to retime. Go over here. Choose conform speed. Yeah, and let's see what happens. So it just got 40 longer. Forty percent. You did you? I was a math major. <laughs> See, 40%. 24 is 40% of well, six of 60. It's cool. That's like, uh, I failed math. That's why I have to have Final Cut Pro do this for me. But then you teach me this, so yeah. that's, that's all. So even. it works out, but that's kind of cool, don't you think? Wow, so now can you play that? Because that's probably even a little slower. No, it slower. won't let you play it back. It won't let you play no. it back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it won't play it back. So let's take a look at it. And so. that should be even slower. Yeah, it should still be even slower, frame. right? Every single frame. Nice. But then what's really nice, at the very end, if you want to get the really silky sm smooth thing about it, you go to video quality and just optical flow it. And oh, then if you okay. choose, oh, this is what, now we're talking really, really nice slow-mo. Then if, if we slowed it down more, because we don't even really need that here, because we have every frame. You have frame. all the, you don't really, you're right. It would be actually redundant use. I think you're right. It would be useless to, um, but, uh, but that would allow us to slow it down even more. You could slow like it down 20%. even more and get those, those frames built into so it. So you can shoot 720p 60 go into a 24 frame per second project and conform it. And then if you wanted to go even further, you could use optical flow retiming and really do some slow motion it's, stuff. It's awesome. All directly in Final Cut All Pro, directly no in intermediate Final files. That's no right. I tell, I tell you, most of you out there probably don't even know you can do this. <laughs> That's so. good. That's good. Sorry. You're gonna get all these memos. I already knew that. And by the way, here's three other things. And, here, and here's why Final Cut Pro 10 is, oh, please don't write that. Great, all Steve, right. thank you. Thank you. Um, RippleTraining.com for tutorials, tips, and tricks on Final Cut Pro 10, Motion, DaVinci Resolve, um, Avid mm, Training, smoke. smoke Training, and uh, I'm missing something, but uh, check it out, RippleTraining.com. And Steve, thank you. Thanks, Mark. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.